everyone. Today we got to play Coffee Traders. So this is a game, if you saw earlier, we uh, did an unboxing for because we were pleasantly surprised by the quality of pieces. Oh, we were pleasantly surprised by the game. It just knowing, I had no idea this game I know, existed. Right? And, and I want to make one correction, since Randy is so good at pointing out when I'm wrong in the video, and you'll make a comment. <laughs> According, actually, Rob, it's just, he made the comment that uh, Capstone Games usually doesn't have nice components. I disagree. Capstone has generally got nice components. Pipeline. Well, there's pipeline. Um, can have so much. Uh, yeah, but the, pipeline, the, even pipeline. Uh, the rail, the, the rail games that I got are nice. Okay. Uh, Irish Gauge and all of those are nice. Okay. So, sorry, Capstone. Not to this so, level. Sorry, Capstone, that Randy made that comment. I think this, this looks stuff is very nice. So. This looks like a Lucero. If, hey. if you want to throw some stuff my way because I like you so well, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Before we get into all this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you like to see these two disagree all the time. That's right. And <laughs> fighting to the death for their opinions. But, Rob, tell us more about this game. Coffee the Traders. Fact that it's awesome. Brand new game, 2021. I think you got, you just got it at the store the other day, like you said in the video. Plays uh, 2 to 5, which is kind of pleasant. Um, board Game Geek rating is 7.9. Designer is Rolf uh, Sagel and Andre Spiel. Art by John uh, Rabal and Dean Van Paradin, published by Capstone Games. MSRP, I don't, I don't think paid this much at, at Card House, but one hundred nineteen ninety five. Yeah, is MSRP. So you said it was seven point what? Seven point nine. Well, I'll tell you about my opinion on that score later. All right, so talking about quality of pieces, I think we kind of talked about this in the unboxing video. So when we, as we discussed earlier, we were pleasantly surprised by the component pieces for this. I mean. All the shaped meeples that for different items, as well as these really cool coffee beans and the player colors. The boards are beautiful. The player boards are like little ledger books that open up and fold out that are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, overall, oh, and you have metal coins that come standard to the game, mm -hmm. which I thought was absolutely fantastic. So as far as quality of pieces, I think this has really got a lot to offer for those that like that textile feel. There are a lot of bits, and I will say for $120 for all these bits for the quality, I think it's pretty good. Um, I definitely would probably give this an 8 on quality. What are your guys' thoughts? Uh, well, I, I'm not as impressed with the metal coins. I'm impressed that they actually included metal coins, yeah. but the coins themselves are not the best coins in the world. Uh, but apart from the coins, I mean, I was just floored by this. Because I mean, first of all, like I said, I had no idea this game even existed. I went to the yeah. This I, went under the radar. I, I had why no that was. idea. I just was checking the emails and from uh, you know. I just uh, remember, um, and I must not have mentioned to it. I remember a couple months ago this came out as a, um, you can reserve it through the Capstone website because uh, kind of like with uh, Stonemeyer Games, I mm -hmm. get notifications for games before they release. Yeah, but they don't have but, really but, advertised but, but, this. Like I haven't no, seen you, it. No, you much. only get the email if you're on their email list, and you would know about it. Otherwise, you wouldn't know until the day it comes out. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, so this was kind of like a sneaky Yeah, so I mean, I knew nothing here. about it, and it just, out of the names in the list, because, you know, whenever the card house email comes out, it just got a list of, these are the new arrivals, yeah. and th this, for whatever reason, this name intrigued me, and I clicked on it, and then I'm like, oh, this sounds very some similar to the type of games that Miranda really likes. Yeah, so, but give it a score for quality of components. Um... I mean, it's uh, that that surprise sh uh, value when I open the box is kind of skewing me a bit. I think the boards are amazing. I love yes, the, absolutely. I love the gigantic main board, and I love the even more the player boards because they do look like ledgers. They really they look really cool. Um, I'm probably going to give this an eight point five because of all of the especially the boards, but. The components are, are good too. Now we do have some c component issues we got to deal with, but yeah. it's just in this a particular copy of it where we had one is one of the cat's tails was broken, and yeah, one, right one of the uh, ledgers, mine particular ledger, the blue one had a, a issue with the, the, the printing, printing was wasn't wasn't flat with the glue or whatever. It was and puffy. it was and the one was backwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On the board, there's a misprint <laughs> on the board where the one is inverted and backward. Um, yeah. One, one, one. I don't know why how they messed that one, one up, but yeah, it's that's Skill, the only talent. I think I would have given this a nine, but I'm gonna dock it a half a point because I'm just not a big fan of little cubes. 
So I wish they would have done some, I mean, they did such a cool job with everything else. I mean, you got donkeys for crying out loud. And they couldn't have thought of something a little different than just a cube. You know, maybe. I mean, it so what do you think, an 8.5? I think it's an 8.5. Well, I think the cubes are fine. I, I think I like they the could have, I think they could have done some, uh, like it would have been probably a 9 if they put the, uh, like where you can indent the board. Where you Either put... that or maybe if the even the cube itself was in the shape of that hook. Yeah. You know, like yeah. a little hook that you just move down instead. Yeah. So something like that. So, I mean, it's 8.5 is still a remarkable score to me. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's fantastic. So yeah, I was but, very impressed with everything. Yeah. So moving on to theme, guys, I think this theme is very, I mean, it goes with it. The ledgers themselves, the fact that your player board's a ledger, the fact that you have different um, different countries that you build your different plantations in um, to grow these, the coffee beans, as well as the wild cats. I think this all inclusive into the theme, it is very much an economic game, very mm -hmm. much a builder game. And each of the different phases represent that different part of it. Theme-wise, I think it's great. This and, is definitely coffee traders. And you have cat poop coffee. Yes. Yeah. And that's a real thing. It's a real thing. Cat poop coffee. Yeah. I don't think yep. he, I don't think Randy will drink it. Not that he ever drinks I don't coffee. Drink coffee so. But, I mean, if he did, I don't know if he'd drink cat poop coffee. I don't think I would. I like coffee. Yeah. But I don't think I'd drink cat yeah, poop coffee. Yeah, I, I think it, I, it's like I back distilled. Yeah. Today. Oh, good. And I got. I was. I've been eyeing that. Well, one. yeah. And I got coffee <laughs> traders. And it's like I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink coffee. But yet we're buying games for that. <laughs> but it's, it's, we got our. You got heaven and ale. You got all these other yeah. beer games too. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, but overall, the theme is 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 absolutely great for this. I'm actually going to give this a nine for theme. I think everything is spot on. I think they did everything great. Um, there is something of that wow that maybe is a little missing for me, which is why I'm giving it a to nine. There see, just seems to be something that doesn't go all the way for me, but everything else I think is top notch. What are your guys' thoughts on theme? So this is another one of those cases where I'm trying to think of something to take off on it for, and I honestly can't. See, I'm that way too, but there's something, I feel like there's something missing, and I don't know, I can't even put my finger on it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think the boards are beautiful. I, I think the ledgers are amazing. Uh, I, I, I think I, I got to give it a 10. I can't think of anything to take off for on it. What do you think about you? Um, I really do like the theme, but I don't know if I can do a 10 because mechanically it just, I, I don't know the significance. Uh, it, you know, when you're building the buildings, why am I building that? Like a hospital. What in the world does the hospital have anything to do with making coffee? Unless you're talking about the McDonald's situation where people are pouring <laughs> in their laps. So other than that, why what why a hospital? So it's just it's some, you're gonna keep the, some of the things that just doesn't make sense to me. So mechanically it doesn't fit with the theme. But the cash I, the one that str I struggled with, and then when I read the history of right. the book, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I would never drink cat poop. So <laughs> So I think that I'm gonna give this a nine. Okay. I'm right there with you. So, all right. So, moving on to rules. Rules were a beast because this game is a beast. Yeah. I would oh. definitely put this on the medium to heavy scale. What are you? What are your guys' thoughts on? So, the I'm weight? the one that actually read the yeah. rules. Uh, it was uh, twenty, what twenty eight pages worth of actual all material. All I know is you read part of it to me, and I was asleep. Well, Here, here's the story. So, I was gone. I, I just recently moved, and the whole plan was I was cleaning my old apartment, and by the time I get back over to here, Randy had read the rules and be ready to play. No. So he was still reading the rules. He was reading the rules for like hours and still didn't <laughs> get it. And so it's nothing against Randy. It's just the rules. I mean, there's a lot to this game. Yeah, it's not so much that it's hard read. It's it's the fact that you have to think about what it yeah. is doing. Uh, and the setup took a long time. The set, this is a huge game, and it's a huge setup especially when I'm setting it up by myself. So I didn't set up all the player boards, but I set up all the main boards, set up my player board so that the others could copy and set mm -hmm. up their player boards whenever they Thank showed up. Thank you for setting up my player board. You're board. welcome. So, <laughs> you know, but between trying to read the rules and setting up the board so I'd have the pieces in place so I could try to understand the rules better, right. it took a long time. Uh, then once, once I started getting the rules down, it was a matter of, there's no cheat sheets in this, which the only thing I think the cheat sheets would have been I, really needed for. I don't know if it's needed. I do think so. And the reason I think it's needed is because the uh, the icons, while they're useful, there's nothing to tell you what the icon actually means. 
I did not know what the coffee icon meant. To yeah. be fair, like I so was there. You, you <laughs> know, there were important things about the icons that would have been useful to have had that were. And the thing is, is in the book they've got a, a section for that in the appendix. Right. But it's in the middle of the book because they put all the history about the, you know, all the interesting mm -hmm. things about the history, which is great for theme. But unfortunately, it means the appendix is buried in the middle of the book. So unless, you know, it, it would have been great to take that appendix out and put it into a separate, you know, right. something that at least you could have its own separate book that's right. like as a two pager even that you could have. Uh, but ideally, you'd have, you know, you can make a card and it's got the information for everybody. And then you wouldn't have to keep referencing it. Uh, and the buildings were even in a different section than the rest of it was. So it wasn't all together. So from that perspective, it made it harder to teach and harder to follow along. So we had to keep the rule book in front of us and clip referencing it a few times. Yeah, there's a couple the times we had to do it. Uh, so from that, I'm going to have to give this a 6.5. I don't think it's horrible. It's not bad. It's just it was just a lot of material, a very heavy game to try to learn in one fell swoop. Right. Uh, and even when we did learn it, we forgot a couple of the major impact parts of the game yes. because there was just so much of it and it was so late at night. Right. And Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's part of it is this game is not for the faint of heart and that you have to go in. And I do think it's going to take you a couple of playthroughs to truly, like, get it. You know what I mean? So it, I think it is on the heavier side. Um, so moving on to gameplay... This is too big to go into detail about what the actual gameplay is, so we're going to do a very broad synopsis. So basically, there is um, four different phases. Well, five, actually, technically phases. Six, actually. Six, six. technically. Six. You got the refresh phase. Yes. I can't count. All right. <laughs> well, there so, are no numerals, to be fair. So. One, well, no, it goes one to three. Where's two? No, there's four or five and no, six on there. Two, three, oh, four, that doesn't five, have a two, six. so for the record. It okay, is. It's just so, at the bottom. And it's right at the uh, bottom. Because that makes sense. All right. So the first thing you have is the worker, the work phase. So the work phase is where you're placing your different workers to achieve different actions. That's building your plantations. That's placing um, workers. That is um, breeding donkeys. That is also gaining money or um, placing a cat that you've earned elsewhere in the game. Um, next is the worker phase. And that's simply placing any workers that you've earned in the process of the other parts of the game onto plantations that don't already have workers. Um, and it's also the penalty for not having workers on places once Well, well you referred those. to two different things as workers. There's mm -hmm. the black cubes, which are action cubes. They're that's not right. really workers. Uh, that's what you assign during the work phase. Right. And then there are workers, which are... The little brown meeples. There's actually not... They're not even called workers. The, the workers are the, the meeples that you are. You're the generic brown ones. Or yeah, white worker pool. It's also yeah. worker pool. But your you what you have also are the traders and right. The yeah, worker, we haven't talked the about the traders. Right, right. The but those workers. are the ones that are your your color coded workers. Yeah. yeah. Um. So worker two, like I, or the second phase, like I said, is placing any any of the worker pool that you've gained. And, and on there's those. a huge negative penalty if you do not place a worker on a plantation. Yes. Um, so then moving on to phase three, phase three is the trader and contractor phase. So you have, um, your color of meeples and basically you have a choice to either make them a trader or a contractor. If you're making them a contractor, obviously they're going to build different buildings that are on your player board that you're trying to remove off. And then the other one here is going to act as a trader. So, um, you place the trader and then that way you'll get income where your trader is placed. And by income, I mean the coffee beans that get produced in a particular area of the for those plantations. Um, and then you have the harvest phase. So the harvest phase is when um, that we calculate based on how many plantations there are in that particular area, how many get it based on, and then where those get divvied up. And those get divvied up between the trade houses and the traders that are in those locations. Um, and I will say, I forgot to mention in the trader and contractor phase, there is a cop or follow-up action with all players so right. one person does it people can copy them um and commit to those actions so that one's a little bit different than the other phases but then the harvest phase all that gets calculated you get your final income and coffee and coffee beans um and then you move on to the contractor phase now the contractor phase you actually do in reverse turn order which is different um than the rest of the game and not only that, though, you fill one contract at a time and you basically spend as many resources as you can. 
But it's not just contracts. So you have six, con six contracts throughout the game that you're trying to fulfill. They that's do all not you re get. That's yeah. all you get. All you you get. do not replenish. But there is also the coffee bars. You can fulfill their orders, and they're also worth victory points. And those, they also have end-of-game scoring, which is the most, like, if you have the most in the row, um, very similar, and there's and different in rows. Scoring. Some end-game scoring around to whoever has the most in that particular row. Um, and then the... Um, Sixth and final is the refresh phase. So the refresh phase is basically you get all your traders and contractors back. They don't stay on there. You get all your worker pool back. Um, and, you know, I think that pretty much... Well, you have to yeah. pay back any loan you borrow. Oh, yeah, any loan that... Because during the action phase or the, or the work phase, you can take up to two out of three options you have, which is an extra action or an extra trader. trader or a three coin that you can borrow from it, but you have to pay that coin back. And if you don't, then you're going to suffer a three victory point penalty. And we didn't even talk point. about what some, some of the buildings have special Yeah, abilities. we're not, we're not going and, into that. That we could uh, be here all day. What your cats can do. So there's all kinds of stuff we did not talk about. Yeah. So yeah. we're just talking about very basic gameplay. Mm -hmm. Then the refresh action goes, there is other scoring mechanisms. So the one major scoring mechanism that I didn't mention, besides, so you got the contracts, you got the coffee bar, um, you also have placing all the buildings. Um, then you also have going up this track here, which is the Arabica. Uh, Arabica track. So the more you, that you focus in a particular area, that more that track goes up and you get benefits for going up. Um, there is also a benefit of getting all the tracks at a certain level, um, and you get benefits from those. So you can do a couple of strategies of just focusing in two areas, or you can do the strategy of focusing them on them all and try to get that bonus there. Then the other scoring mechanism is at the end of your board, there are different actions that you can take to earn you different kinds of tokens, and for each different kind of token, you can build up. If you get a duplicate, it just stacks, um, you know, so you don't get the bonus of building up. And if you get all the tokens in the game, there's 25 victory points. Good luck, have fun. I doubt you'll be able to do it. If you do, I'm impressed because there's no. I didn't. I didn't even get to the four point. You got to the four point. I did. I'm impressed. Yeah, but you can use two of the same color that you. If you've got two copies of each, mm -hmm. that you can make a wild that yeah, you can so apply that, to. That, that's how I was able spot. to. Was oh, get okay. up there is because I was able to make a wild one and go up. Yeah. So there is that piece of it. Well. So there it, is it was a, a pretty it was in despite what Randy thought it was a pretty tight game. I mean, I I thought that I thought Miranda ran away with it. I thought I was and, more in the lead than I was, and it turns out I was I was only ten points right like, up. So and Randy wasn't that far behind me. Yeah, so it was one thirty six, one twenty six, and one oh six, I think, or one oh eight. No, um, I think it was more like one fifty, one forty, and one oh nine. No, it was one thirty six, one twenty six, and maybe one oh nine. Yeah, that yeah, was it was definitely a one oh nine for me. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that's still for first time. That I, was actually pretty close, and, yeah. and and we made some we made and we made some glaring mistakes that yeah, yeah that, like that we, could have made a huge difference. Like we forgot to as we fulfilled our contracts, got the tokens on yeah. the contracts. Mm -hmm. Which will give us money, yeah, which then, we could have used that money for other stuff. And, yeah, and, and then me and you forgot to take the money for the contracts yeah. until like third round yeah, when and, we were like, what? And we left yeah, out the milestones. Good. We forgot to do the milestones during the game, which basically are in-game bonus, but you can do them during the but game. But you claim as them long, as soon as it happens. Yeah, as soon as you meet the criteria. So, yeah. like I said, there's all kinds of stuff we just yeah. lost over. So, this game is... It's a beast. It's a beast. But it's a beast I like. It's a good beast. It's yeah. good beast. I like this game a lot. Um, I definitely want to play it again. Is it probably going to be in my top five? I don't think so. But is it definitely going to be in my top 20? It I probably... might be top five when we play it. You know, and yeah. the Lord knows when the next yeah, time we get I mean, to play it. it. It's, it's going to take a while to get the, the, the gist it's, of this. Yeah, it's, I like, mean... it's, it's like a Terra Mystica or any of those yeah. that when you first play it, it's like, man, it, it, your brain kind of hurts. But then once you learn it and you can get into it, you really yeah. get to appreciate it after multiple plays. It, yeah. it definitely felt like a Lacerda game, but it was not made by Lacerda, which is right. actually encouraging because that means there's other people making games like, like Lacerda. Lacerda. <laughs> and we really like Lacerda games. We do. Uh, we do. And I love that the, the quality of the components look like the Eagle yeah, games. It, uh, it does. So, I mean, it, this definitely gave me uh, I, I would a like lot the, of happiness I would like to buy that this there's game. other games like that out there. So I, I don't like when one company makes the same kind of games that nobody else is making and then if they decide to stop you're yeah. out of luck 
So now we got another company doing those kind of games because Pipeline was. I don't think Pipeline was to this level oh, as no. far as quality. No, 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 but it was still good. It was still good. I mean, the game itself was great. I'm I just saying. I'm talking about the component quality well, was not, not to this level. No, it's not, and and only because Miranda pimped ours out. It so. is really nice. Yeah, so. I did a good job. So, but yeah. So overall score, what are you what are you gonna give it, Miranda? Oh. I'm gonna go with strong. Give it a nine. I really what? liked it. I really did like it, guys. Like, when I, what is what would make this better? Again, there's something that I feel like is just, and it might be I just need more playthroughs. But there's something. I thought you would give it a, even higher than that because you get to build your things and nobody messes with you. I know it's so nice. So it's a, no. There's something about it that I can't quite grasp that is missing. Like it I was. Think, I think multiple plays would solve that. I, I really do. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping multiple playthroughs will yeah. get me get me through. Um, but you're you're a nine. I am definitely. I mean, it's a good solid nine. Like it's yeah. a it's a nine. So you, what about you? I'm probably with you on a nine on this. It, it was. I, I mean, I didn't grasp it well I, in the first playthrough, and I, that makes me want to play it again right yeah. away. Um, as far as the, the, I think there's a lot of meat here, a lot more than a lot, some of them, some even some of the Saturday games like the Gallerist. I think this one has more meat to it than the Gallerist does. I think um, so, too. So I think I'm going to enjoy this more each time I play it, for mm -hmm. at least for a while. Uh, so I, I, I'm excited about that because, you know, it's one of the things, that, you know, I feel like it was I was limited in Gallerist. I was yeah. limited in some of the others. I, I, I think this one I don't feel limited in. There's a lot of things to explore and do. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to give it a 9-2, and if I can give you a secret, get donkeys. Donkeys, yeah. are, donkeys are important. Uh, you know, I did not realize how important they were, and it it hurt. Yeah, it hurt. Uh, it hurt. I got cornered, and I could yeah. I could have went that much further. I could I had to stop building plantations, and I you need plantations. Well, because you know, because you realize, because when we first were reading the rules, we knew workers were going to be important. Yeah. And we were like, okay, obviously get the worker over the donkeys, but I had extra workers where I didn't have donkeys, so I think there is a balancing act that Absolutely. we mm -hmm. have to pay attention to. Otherwise, we are going to be SOL. Yeah, yeah, and also I wasted one of my level one plantations because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that you only get five of them. Yeah. And you start with three of them on the board in three different regions, which is great, but there's five different regions. So you basically you have to, if you want to be in all regions, you, you have, have to, to save, save that, one, save that one because you, you, you have no other choice but to start with a one. So I wasted one and I couldn't get in one of the regions and it cost me bad, badly in the game. Uh, so Unless somehow you can get a truck, and getting a truck was hard. Yeah. Did yeah. any of us actually get a truck? I came very close. I but, had the because choice. Because I built it, but it was in game, so I got a free building instead of a truck. Right. I, that, that was me. It was like right there at the end, yeah. and, I, and I chose that. And it's tough. So It is. It's This, but that's, this it's, is a beast, a and I'm excited to explore this beast. And we'll so. probably yeah. play it again in a year and forget everything about it and go through it. No, that's, what, I say. that's what I like about this is that it's there's a lot of ways to score in this. Yeah. And I'm hoping it stays that way. I'm hoping it doesn't turn into Zulkin, like what we used to right. have to play with Zulkin was, like it. that there's only a couple of winning strategies. This, I think, will have a lot more choices as far as winning strategies. Okay. So, super excited. Well, guys, we had an absolute blast, and I'm so glad Randy picked this up at the store. So, hopefully, we'll see you guys later. Um, we'll catch you. Bye. Bye.